This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now going to answer question number five from the October 2023 Pure Mathematics P2 um, International A-Level LXL paper. And this question here is number five, which is about logarithms. Again, we have to show our steps very clearly. Okay, it says solutions relying entirely on calculated technology are not acceptable. So this is called an exponential equation because what we have to find the unknown is in the exponent or the power or the index and um, in some cases we could be able to express both sides with the same base in this case we cannot express them with the same base for example if it was 3 to the power of a equals 81 i could say 3 to the power of a is equal to 3 to the power of 4 and i could say a equals 4 for example but in this case 70 cannot be expressed as 3 to the power of something so what we have to do is we have to take logarithms of both sides. Okay, now we can choose, um, especially now we have our calculators with the uh, base. Okay, we have the I'm doing. We have the base here. This button. We can choose any base we want to with this calculator. Previously, there was only the button for log to the base ten. Okay, there was previously only the button for log to the base 10. Okay, which would be this button over here. That means log to the base 10. But now we got the log to any base we want to. So the simplest thing for us to do is to look at the number, um, which is the base of what we're trying to find. Okay, we're trying to find A, and it, the base of A is 3. Okay, we take log to the base 3 of both sides. So we have to take log to the base 3 of 3 to the power of a. And if we take log to the base 3 of one side, we take log to the base 3 of the other side also. Okay, whatever we do to one side, we do to the other, like we do for normal equations. And then here we can use the power law, where we know that the law log to the base a of b to the power of c is the same as c times log to the base a of b. And I've gone through some explanations of this in previous videos that you could see. So this becomes a times log to the base 3 of 3 equals log to the base 3 of 70. Okay, and now um, what we should understand is when we have log to the base of something of itself, it's always equal to 1 by the definition of logarithms. The base, this is the base, this is the power, this is the answer. A to the power of 1 is A. So three log to the base 3 of 3 is going to give you 1. So it's A times 1, which is A equals log to the base 3 of 70. And there's our answer which now, if they say write to 3SF, we then take the calculator and just put log to the base 3 of 70. And that gives us our answer, which is 3.867, 3.8671. They want three, des three decimal places, so 3.867. There is the answer to part A. Okay, part 1, 5, part 1. Very simple. Okay, solving... Uh, you know, logarithms. Now, there's other ways of doing it as well, which I'll show you just to illustrate the fact that it doesn't matter what base you take, but of course, this is the easiest way. For example, a lot of people say, let's just take log to the base 10 of both sides, in which case they'll have log to the base 10 of 3 to the power of A. We don't have to write the base 10 when we do log to the base 10, and log to the base 10 of 70. So they'll have, using the power law, A log to the base 10 of 3 equals log to the base 10 of 70, and the dividing both sides by log 3, you have A equals log 70 divided by log 3. So A is going to give you, should be the same answer as we'll see. So we'll, we'll put log, you can use this button now, log 70 divided by log 3, and you end up with, the same exact answer, 3.8671, which is 3.8670 to three decimal places. Of course, the same answer. So it really doesn't matter what base you take. I could have taken a log to the base of 5,471 if I wanted to, and I'll end up with the same answer. Okay, you'll get the same answer in the end. It really doesn't matter what, what base you take, but it's always easier for you to do it this way. Why? Because, in fact, we can go straight from this line to this line, okay? If you, you can, if you take log to the base 3 of both sides, you can write the next line exactly just this to this, okay? When you take log to the base of 3 of both sides, 
this will just become A, basically, right? So that's, that's one of the reasons why we like to take log to the base of the number to which the power is that you're trying to find is raised to. Okay, so there's part one, five part one, now for five part two. It says find the exact value of B such that four plus log to the base three of B equals log to the base three of five B. So here, first of all, we check to see do we have the same bases, and we do here, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the logs to the same side and the numbers to the same side. So I'll, I'll leave the four here, and I'll write this as log to the base three of five B minus three log to the base three of B. Okay, now before I can combine these together, okay, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to write, use a power law, just like we did before, but in reverse. I'm going to write this as log to the base three of B cubed. So here I have four equals log to the base three of five B um, minus log to the base three of B to the power of three using the power law. Okay, now these two are both um, to the same base. Okay, let me just make that a bit clearer. Log to the base three of five B. They're both expressed at the same base. And I can use the law of logarithms where I know that the log of um, the, the base A of, let's say, um, C minus log to the base A of D will give you log to the base A of C divided by D. Okay, with, a, with a subtraction between them, they have the same base, you can divide them. If there's an addition between them, you add them. Okay, well, you multiply them, sorry. It'll be log to the base A of C times D. So this is very similar to the laws of uh, indices, but it's just uh, the logarithm is the inverse of the index. Okay, so basically it follows a similar kind of pattern. So I can combine these two by writing this as log to the base 3 of 5B over B cubed. Okay, log to the base 3 of 5B over B cubed. And now what I can do is I can rewrite this in index form because I know that when I have log to the base A of B equals C, this means A to the power of C equals B. This is the base, this is the power, this is the result. Okay, so here I can say 3 to the power of 4 is equal to whatever is in there, which is 5B over B cubed. So I end up here with 3 to the power of 4, which is 81. So I have 81, and if I multiply both sides by B cubed, B cubed equals 5B. So I can say 81 B cubed minus 5B equals 0. I can take out the common factor, which is B. Then I have 81 B squared minus 5 equals 0. So I'll have either B equals 0 or B squared equals 5 over 81. So B squared is it going to be plus or minus root 5 over 9. That's what B is going to become. Okay. So now the question tells us to find the exact value of B. Right now, it says value, and we have three values. First start, we have to find the value of B such that this is going to be defined. Now, in, in, in a case like this, the B cannot be zero for sure. And it cannot, be less, it, can't, it cannot be less than or equal to zero. Because if you have log of something of zero, it's undefined. Okay, because a log curve never touches the line x equals zero. Okay, just like the exponential curve never touches the line y equals zero, the log curve, which is the exponent of that, is the inverse of that, never touches this line. So b has to be, b cannot be less than equal. So b must be greater than or equal to zero. It must be positive. If it's zero or negative, then we can't accept that value. So we cannot accept b equals zero, and we cannot accept b is equal to negative root five over nine. So therefore, we can say b must equal positive root 5 over 9. And that's the exact value. And you can check your answer if you want to by substituting that into the uh, original equation and see does it work. Okay, so if I put here 4 plus 3 times the log um, to the base of 3, so log to the base of 3, Of, and it was uh, root 5 over 9.
add um, minus. Okay, or we can say, so we're going to do there. Sorry, four plus three. Log to the base three of root five over nine. Let's see what that gives us. That gives us 0 0.1974. And that should give us the same as this. Okay, let's have a look. So let's do five times this. That's five times what we found B to B. And we get rid of this stuff before. We don't need the three either. Okay, that should be the same answer. It does, 0 0.1974. And our answer before was 0 0.1974. So we have the same answer. So we know for sure that this is the correct answer. Okay, if you put a negative value in there or a zero in there, this will be undefined. It will, it will give us a math error. All right, so that's why it says find the exact value of B. So you must show that you rejected the negative or zero values or the values of B which cause whatever's inside the logarithm to become negative or zero. Okay, so it's not always um, B being negative. It's not always like the, the answer you get being zero or negative. It's what happens when you put that answer in here. If you, have the log, if you end up with a log of something and this thing becomes zero or negative, then it's undefined. Okay, so for example, if it was, you know, for example, five uh, plus B, right, then for this one, okay, B equals zero would be okay because when you put zero, zero into here, you'd have log to the something of five, which would be which would be acceptable. As long as what's inside the log function, okay, it doesn't become zero or negative, then you must re, uh, you can accept the answer. So any, any, any value that you get which causes what's inside the log function to be negative or zero, that value must be rejected. Okay, so there's the answer to question number five. I hope that was clear. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this section over here. Other questions from the topic of logarithms from P2 of um, International A-Level Edit Scale can be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. And the video that is linked here will tell you how to use my channel to find what you're looking for efficiently. Thank you for watching and see you soon.